let me delete these um, rules up here and let me delete the placed option. I'll just go through and clear all of these individual options on here. So you can see there that um, if you want to fire a bet into the market you can do so um, from within Excel. However you really want to start getting a little bit cleverer here. <clears throat> within Excel you've actually got a whole range of functions, masses and masses and masses of functions that allow you to automate, semi-automate or make conditional um, rules to within cells. So um, you know what, what I can do is I can actually create a special triggered bet in here just by using some of the functions available in Excel. So if we imagine that this match was underway and we're saying okay when Arsenal when the price of Arsenal comes in um, I want you to back Arsenal at a particular price. So what I can actually do in Excel is I can go like this I'm going to put some I'm going to turn it into a bit of text so you can see it clearly if Arsenal, these are the prices on Arsenal here, let me, uh, that hasn't quite fired it. If, open brackets, start again. <laughs> if, and can you see it's come up with a little help option here. If this price, you can see F8 refers to cell F8, so we're saying if the price on Arsenal on the back side is lower than 1.40, comma, then back. I was going to say fill your boots, but I thought that would be unprofessional. So, <laughs> um, And if it doesn't, then we put in two brackets and close the expression. And you can see what you've done up here. If, I, if we look up at the bar here, you can see it's represented well here as well. The Excel function if exists to basically say if this, then that. So you can say we're saying if F8, if the cell F8, Arsenal's odds, is lower than 1.4, then throw a back order into the market. And then the comma here is saying, if that isn't the case, then what should I do? And we're saying here, two open quotes, do nothing. So if I press return, it's press enter here, or return, you can see I've typed that information into that cell, but there's nothing there. Where is it? Well, if I go and click on that cell, you can see that it's still there. but it's basically not active because it's at the moment Arsenal's odds are 1.52 and it's saying if F8 is lower than 1.4 which it isn't then display nothing. So let's take this a step further let's take this a, a step further. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this rule fire and I'm going to say okay if the odds on Arsenal are lower than a certain amount then place an order in the market and the advantage of doing this is you can actually set up all of these rules before an event starts, before a race starts, before a football match kicks off, any of those variations. Um, and you can let BetAngel just sit there and monitor the market and it will fire a bet into the market for you. Um, but of course BetAngel is going, okay, you know, if, if these odds appear at this value then I'll back, but you need to tell it also what odds to back at and also what stake are you going to use. So if I go over here, <coughs> excuse me, I can type in the odds that I wanted to back at. So I'm going to say, okay, back at 1.56 and back with 100 pound. And you can see here at the moment, um, the status says nothing's happening. And that is because obviously there's no rule here. But Angel is scanning here and it's saying, okay, okay, um, I'm looking here to see what uh, this user wants me to do. And it's telling me to do absolutely nothing. But magically, if the odds on Arsenal slips to below 1.4, the word back will appear in this particular market and this bet will be fired in. Let's modify this stake to lower than 1.6. And I want you to pause for a couple of seconds and think about what's going to happen here. If I press enter now, it's basically saying if the, the cell in F8 is lower than 1.6, which we know it is already, then put up the word back under the bet rules. And if it's not lower than 1.6, then do nothing. So as soon as I hit enter here, we see what happens. There you go. The order was fired into the market. Because we modified the if statement within this particular area of Excel to say if it is lower than 1.6, which it obviously is, display the word back. So you can see here it's displayed the word back, 
and it's put an order in the market at 1.56 with a stake of £100 and it's confirmed here that the order has been placed. You can see that um, matched odds were zero, amount match was zero because we've placed it out of the money and there's the bet reference number and the time. So you can see here already just using that basic if statement that you can um, actually create a, a number of scenarios automatically and uh, if I go into bet engine and check you can see here's our order to back Arsenal at 1.56 which is sitting over the market here now you can actually get even cleverer than this if I cancel out all of these options on here and just go back across here one of the wonders about Bet Angel is that it has all of this functionality to place fill or kill orders to offset, um, to do trailing stops and so on. And what we've actually done within um, the Excel interface is we've integrated that. So you can actually pass instructions to Bet Angel and tell it what to do. This is what we would define as the Bet Angel scripting language. So for example, what you can actually do is where we just enter that order by saying if these odds are lower than this value you can actually get much more complex than that you can actually say okay um, if these odds are lower than 1.4 in other words if the price on Arsenal comes in lower than 1.4 then I want you to back but I also want you to put an offset on of one tick um, I want you to place a fill or kill order and I want you to put a stop on of five ticks. You can see at the top of the screen here we've actually got a list of rules and options that you can actually put in there and basically these rules are um, back or lay, offset, force offset, fill or kill, um, kill delay um, all of these standard features that you would expect to see in BetAngel. Each of these can actually go in as an instruction to within um, Excel and this gives you absolutely massive flexibility because obviously you can control how you enter the market from the spreadsheet and BetAngel will do all of the rest for you. You don't have to worry about writing or scripting a complicated macro or learning a programming language in Excel to be able to do this. So you can see here that this is um, pretty powerful stuff. What I'm doing here is I'm saying if F8, if cell F8, F8 being Arsenal, is lower than 1.4, then place a back order in the market, offset it by 1 if it's filled, and stop it if it goes 5 ticks against me. So if I press enter here, that order will sit in the market and wait for that situation to occur. It will wait for Arsenal to be lower than 1.4.